Hi, everyone, and happy Saturday. We do have some showers and thunderstorms to talk about on this three weather impact alert day here in northern Ohio. We do have the line of showers and storms that's moving through northern Ohio at this point. You can see there is more rain off to the west, and we're starting to see some additional development in northern portions of Indiana and southern Michigan. We'll be expecting those showers and thunderstorms later on this afternoon into the evening. But you can see how this line has been moving through the area through the morning. It is bringing in some good wind gusts. We also have very heavy downpours. And really, the heavy rain is our primary threat, but occasionally we are getting some high wind gusts. And we've had a couple severe thunderstorm warnings. Right now, there's one that's in Cuyahoga and Geauga counties, as well as northern Summit and Portage counties. But again, these are going to come and go as the afternoon goes on as this line pushes through. Outside of the severe weather threat with the high wind gusts, we also have a flood watch for areas along and east of I-71. We're also going to add Lorraine County into that. This is the area that is favored to have training thunderstorms, so rounds of thunderstorms one after the other that are all bringing very heavy rainfall, and that is going to be the biggest problem. So through the rest of the afternoon, our weather impact alerts will continue as rain and storms will be moving through the area. So obviously, uh, we have to have rain plans in play, and don't forget you can always track the rain and thunder on our app, our 3 News app, because we've got a great interactive radar for you there. How much rain is coming? Well, we're highlighting the specific areas where the next round of thunderstorms are expected to come through. This bullseye has been moving north and south, east and west, but I think the most important part out of it is that we are favored for areas of heavy rain, no matter where they fall, and that will exacerbate some flooding issues. So if uh, we have this opportunity right now to look ahead in the forecast, I can kind of step you through the rest of the afternoon uh, as this next round of rain is going to continue to move out toward Pittsburgh. This is a look at about 5 p.m or so what we're anticipating the radar to look like. Then later this evening, we will have some more scattered showers and storms that pull through. Those could also bring in some hail, some high wind gusts, and of course, additional heavy downpours. And then later tonight, we even have a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms to continue into the early morning hours before ultimately it all moves out for the start of the day on Sunday. And we are looking ahead to a beautiful Sunday indeed. So just a quick update on what's happening right now. Anthony uh, Copeland is in the station. He's going to keep an eye on things there and he'll bring you updates throughout the rest of the afternoon. Have a good one.